So what I'm going to do today is a combination of music and poetry and some dialogue that I self-style as emotionology. And uh, not a scientist by any means. And uh, in fact, I try to stay as far away from corporate America as I can. <laughs> I had a long career in that, and for the last six and a half years, I've been on tour playing guitar um, around the world and in small places and big places alike. But what I find is that music and poetry combines to create the past, the present, and the future. And how we process that is largely affected, of course, by digital media and these monsters like Pandora and Spotify and, and YouTube. But the words are the foundation to our society. My mother was an English teacher, also served in the US Navy, as did my dad. But the English language has become a, uh, an interesting <laughs> problem. <laughs> and there are many colloquialisms and, and things that I kind of regard as, uh, I, just, I just call them chuckles when I watch TV and I hear people misuse the language. But I'm going to play a couple little pieces for you that I wrote. And um, there's a, a picture, I think, that is going to come up on the screen that shows the great Beartooth Pass. And um, I write most of my music in that ecosystem because my experiences there and the memories that I have in the Absorca Beartooth Wilderness are pretty much the foundation for the emotions that I write from. So here's a, here's a chunk of one of the songs. There's a space found up in the mountains that come out to soothe the weary soul. The sun's in our faces and the flowers are blooming up on the Beartooth Plateau. Oh, on the Beartooth Plateau. I don't know how to wake up on a Monday feeling all right, it's true. But baby, it's better if I wake up on a Monday lying there next to you. There's a space found up in the mountains, the kind that'll soothe the weary soul. The mountains there, um, there's something about walking out of the city into the country, the peace that comes from that, and the connection to Mother Earth. There are, there are things that nature provides that just can't be found anywhere else. But I challenge each of you to go through your playlist on your, your iPhone that's the size of a TV <laughs> and sort through and listen to your top 10 songs, the ones that you play over and over and over, your favorites, and try to listen to them from the standpoint of the words and not the awesome drums and the guitar or the good-looking person on the front of the album, which is what sells a lot of this stuff in Nashville. Instead, listen to the poetry. I'm gonna play a song for you called Old Memories. And if you'll step back and just fancy the premise that it's actually our memories that create the moment that we live in today, it's a big part of it, a big contributor, then think of somebody that's not here with you that you miss. And then think of the weather outside and then think how you feel. Maybe it brings you down a little bit, just a little bit. You're okay, but you're thinking about them. And you'll hear in this song, it's not the weather, it's old memories bringing out my blues. So here's a, here's a bit of poetry put to guitar that becomes a song that really is simply an expressed emotion. Sunrise 
I'm so familiar with that open road Thinking on places we used to go I woke up and I caught my breath and started missing you It ain't the weather, it's those old memories Bringing on the blues, bringing on those blues Bringing on those blues, oh yeah Country miles roll by, long hours wear on I know it's never gonna change I'm lost in the loneliness, regrets and pain I woke up and I caught my breath and started missing you It ain't the weather, baby Yeah, it's those old memories Bringing on the blues It's those old memories Bringing on those blues Sadness grips me when I'm standing in a crowd Somehow I don't feel quite as broken When I'm sitting here by myself I woke up and I caught my breath and started missing you It ain't the weather It's those old memories Bringing on the blues Bringing on those blues Bringing on the blues Bringing on those blues Bringing on the blues and I remember driving down the 101 Smiling into that setting sun Holding hands Pushing the limits in a 55 vet And I woke up And I caught my breath And started missing you It ain't the weather, no It's those old memories Bringing on the blues Bringing on those blues Bringing on those blues All oh, those blues the blues Thank you So when I write music um, I, I do consider the fact that some people have formulas and if you listen to popular country or blues or rock there will be hooks in these songs that guitar players write and it makes it seem familiar. It makes it seem palatable. Um, you know, there's something that I think we stole from Jimmy Page, and it goes like this. Thank you, Led Zeppelin, for that. That's, that's, that's in a lot of rock and roll. And Stevie Ray Vaughan's licks, they, they live on. But for me, if you put the guitar aside, you put aside all the instrumentation, and you simply listen to the words, that's the foundation. So I challenge you to look at music as a pathway, a bridge, if you will, between your emotions so that you can go, okay, I'm going to actually intentionally listen to something to hear what it's saying to me, not just the power of the guitar and the drums and all the other things. What are those English words actually intended to mean? And what is the emotional quotient? Um, rock and roll. In the words of ACDC, it ain't no riddle to me. It makes good, good sense. And um, people like Jimi Hendrix
psychedelic dreams that speak the truth. Reach up and pull the moon close to you. Music rages like fire in his hands. He's blessed with salt from Puget lands. All that guitar distracts from a simple fact. The foundation of the language are the words. So I ask you all to listen to your favorite playlist, but don't just listen to the music. Listen to the poetry that is the foundation underneath the music. I'm Daniel Cosell. Thank you for having me today.